thank you everyone whoever is viewing this uh, zoom meet i am happy to share this project with sitri for the month of uh, ip rights for 2023 this year the theme is human rights so that theme we are chosen is culture ip rights are human rights in handcrafted fashion you want to know uh so i have my uh, master done into heritage management for intangible cultural heritage i have been exposed since childhood through textiles and craft through my family business and my goal is to sustain the traditional practices through a modern lifestyle in a way the essence of traditional and living knowledge of crafts are sustained so culture ip rights is about uh, a month long celebration of creativity wisdom and innovation of indigenous people ethnic groups and local communities an advocacy for collective custodianship rights the theme of this month is culture ip rights are human rights the purpose of culture ip month is to generate a space for conversation be a catalyst for system change and to advocate for a new generation of rights that acknowledge indigenous people ethnic group and local communities self determination and collective rights to protect their traditional knowledge traditional cultural expressions governance system and world views culture ip month 2023 is a labor of love a gift to the international community of thinkers creators craft custodians and anyone with open hearts and open soul to start a mind shift revolution about amoda uh, along with me my team members uh, a founder neeta solanki tarada my mother who had started this brand in like 2015 but she has been with uh, working with craft sector since 1991 my brother is the creative director yudhvesi tarada uh, at house of amoda the main idea and the main aim of amoda is to bring together the rich knowledge of traditional textiles into handcrafted fashion in a way to understand and advocate the sustainable process a brand is a textile craft experience centric brand which focuses on to advocate about tradition to textiles the journey of farm to fashion and the knowledge of culture to craft amoda believe the consumer should not just consume the fashion what the clothes they wear but rather be responsible and knowledgeable of what they are consuming to know in details please visit our website so amoda became member at sipri uh, on 26 june 2020 from there to till now we have been working on too many projects and to guide people and advocate people about the human rights uh, traditional knowledge traditional expressions and uh, textiles all worldwide today uh, we are launching this project as a collaborative project the craft collage project this project is actually one of the uh, really important projects that we are trying to you know come up with in terms of how craft processes visual storytelling everything when it comes together how we can promote it and actually tell the stories behind the people who have actually uh, made our clothes so um really excited about this project so the a craft collage project is a narrative of craft photography we we'll know in detail about it so what is the craft collage project it's a long term project to express what the intangible practices are for cultural sustainability it's about advocating learning and sharing the knowledge of craft practices the lifestyle of artisans and the traditional knowledge they share with us it's a key a most important thing is to share about the credit of work done by the indigenous people and the artisans likely who made your products who made your clothes the purpose of the craft collage project is to share the journey uh, like the crafts today are around 5000 and more years old worldwide and today they have come here and sustain in the modern world through contemporary voice so the idea is to bring the balance between the traditional and modern practice so that the essence of traditional is not lost when you are getting it into the modern world it is also about sharing the cross culture handcrafted fashion practice among each other 
Need of the craft collage project is our aim is to support the identity of traditional cultural expressions and to recognize and sustain the essence of traditional knowledge. So the lessons you would be learning through this project is uh, will help you to understand how you can engage yourself to support the culture, sustainability, and traditional craft through your own photography and your process. So the theme and the instructions are as follows. Uh, the theme we have chosen is culture rights are human rights in handcrafted fashion. Create a collage story through a series of photography. Uh, the photo limit should be four or six. Explain a story of your craft collage project. Uh, the word limit is 50 to 70. A catchy title which can evoke an emotion as craft practices are done through heart and hands and mind which involves a human. And the, the file format would be uh, craft collage or JPG image format, craft story PDF format. Uh, you, the most important, it should be a self and original photographs, uh, which will only be considered. Work to be shared on the email address of both of us, as mentioned in the slide. So the story that uh, is mentioned here, that the story that you have to say about the craft collage project, the uh, theme as mentioned here is the is cultural IP rights and human rights in handcrafted fashion. So the pictures that you will share and the story that you share with it has to be in cognizance with the theme that is over written over here. And um, obviously there have to be original images and you can also share with us the way that you would like to be credited on both of our websites. Please note, this is not a competition, but an ongoing project for a cause. And it is open to all individuals as fashion is related to everyone. Clothes are one of your basic necessities out of three. So each and every human who uh, can be participate in this and share your story. To know in detail, you can visit the CIPRI web, uh, website. We are waiting to know your craft collab story. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, if there are any questions or anything that you would like to know, uh, you can reach out to us on our email IDs or, or you can also reach out to us on our Instagram. Uh, our website will have most of the information that is required. And yeah, we look forward to all of these entries and we look forward to seeing the beautiful stories that are uh, there that will come with all with the craft collage.